And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first expedition of the day. It's Wednesday, so we're doing another expedition. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, we're doing these. We get a champion at the end, but it's also a lot of fun in between. We get to draft two different decks, you know, with the two trials. This is our first trial. Let's see what we're gonna get. We're gonna use our shards. Um, and let's see what champions we get to choose from with this draft. We got Teemo, Garen, and Braum. Okay. So I haven't had too much success with Braum before. We had Avarosen Sentry, which is a card that I like, but then Iceborne Legacy, eh, don't really like that card. Definitely have had a lot of success with Garen, and this is two good cards to go along with Garen. Battlesmith um, is awesome, and you know, drafting an elite deck, like you can you can get a really nice elite deck. Scythria is, you know, your elite one drop. These are two really good quality cards to go along with the Garen. And then Teemo, we've been capped out on five wins on Teemo. I've gotten five wins with Teemo decks a couple of different times. Have not gotten a seven win Teemo deck yet. To pair Teemo, we got Mushroom Cloud, which is really not very good um, for a for like a, a specific card, and then Eager Apprentice, which is which is perfectly reasonable. I've actually been pretty um, satisfied with Eager Apprentice. <laughs> Teemo. Yeah, so the the best the best one here for getting the seven wins is is definitely the Garen. Yeah, by a mile. Absolutely. I still haven't gotten this this seven win Teemo, but I don't love this start with the Teemo of Mushroom Cloud and Eager Apprentice. I think I think we'll go ahead, we'll just go ahead and pl play it safe, and we'll go Garen, and we're gonna try to draft elites, getting the Battlesmith right away. That is awesome. But because you know, like we get the two trials, so if we can get the the first trial, if we can get a seven win here with the elites, then. The second trial, maybe we can get a Teemo deck and go from there. Um, I don't know, folks, games. Uh, for now, playing Legends of Runeterra. This game is really, really good. If you haven't checked out this game before, um, this this game's awesome. And with you know Riot's backing and everything, I think this is going to be the next big thing in gaming. And and getting into this, this game's awesome. All right, so unfortunately we didn't get another Demacia. Like that would have been that would have been amazing if we could have got another Demacian champion. You know, like a Fiora or a Lucian. Um, that would have been great. We did not. Uh, we could go Teemo still. Teemo has two much better cards. Get excited is a really good burn spell, and then back alley barkeep is awesome. You know, you get the random cards and everything. So like this is this is a really like two really good cards to go along with the Teemo. So we could just have, you know, we could just have a Teemo on our deck and still maybe even try to draft like an elite focused deck. But you know we have Teemo with two really good quality cards. Vladimir is just fine, um, and I think Vladimir actually works pretty well with Demacia and works well if we're like making our creatures larger, so they can survive easier. Um, but Vladimir is a five drop and Demacia is really known for, especially how we already have Garen, is really known for five drops. There's a lot of really good five drops in Demacia. Um, we have an Assessor and a Crimson Curator, which these two cards I don't love, but maybe we could, you know, Assessor could, could possibly draw a bunch of cards. Crimson Curator, pretty mediocre. Or we could go Thresh, and as y'all know, I think that Thresh is very underrated, and you know this is a it is another five drop, but it has Challenger, and a lot of Demacia cards have Challenger, so we can we can kind of work that together. So it actually works. I think that could work well with Demacia. Warren's Prey is perfectly fine, and Mistrath also perfectly fine, but it gives us a one and a two, and so you know we can kind of already get our early game going with these one drops and two drops. I think it's between these middle these these ones here, the Teemo and the Thresh. Um, I think it's I think it's probably going to be between those two. Probably not TCM Frostbite. Probably not. Um, let's go Teemo. All right, Weasley was saying let's go Teemo before, and I went away from the Teemo. 
Now, I should probably, yeah, everybody, like, let me check the votes. Everybody's voted for the Teemo. All right, we'll go, we'll go Teemo here. I like this one, but yeah, get excited, back alley barkeep. Like, get excited, back alley barkeep are better than Warden's Prey and Mist Wraith, so. All right, we're taking the Teemo. Now, we have to kind of decide if we want to go, if we want to just go heavy Demacia, and that's probably going to be our best option, honestly, of winning. Um, you know, we have the Secession, which is a, a pretty decent spell. We got Bannerman is amazing. This card is so good. Um, and so we could just go really heavy elites. Um, and that's honestly probably going to be our, our most likely success. Or we could take Clump of Wumps, which is pretty mediocre two drop, but it gives us a Poison Puff Caps for Teemo. And then Back Alley Barkey, which is good. Uh, um, good card advantage, especially if we can start, um, really stacking these back alley bar keeps. Um, this is, this is going to be the, the route for victory. So we could, it won't really be a Teemo deck, but we'll have Teemo in it. And if we can get past five wins, I'll still be more than I've gotten past with Teemo. But I, I think this is, this is where we should be going with this first trial. Going with the elites. Yeah, Mushroom Cloud is just not really worth a card. Mystic Shot is good, but Mystic Shot is not really that much better than Single Combat or Prismatic Barrier to take the Mushroom Cloud. Single Combat, Prismatic Barrier, those are two good tricks. Uh, this is like one good removal spell and then one poor card. So I think, and you know, like we have the Bannerman. I think we just want to try to take as many... Demacia cards as possible also so we're gonna put up a, a an even higher um premium on Demacia cards all right so redoubled valor not very big on yeah i don't really like redoubled valor Judgment, Judgment is just game winning. Um, I mean, Swiftwing Lancer is awesome, but Radiant Strike isn't that great. But it, it's it's okay, it's playable. So basically, the Redouble Valor and the Radiant Strike, those are both like playable, but not that great. And we're just gonna, I think we should just take the um, the car that can just be completely game winning. Yeah, I, I understand, folks. Um, folks games but um yeah i understand but going long term here All right, so there's only one Demacia pick, and they're both good cards. Standalone, Senna, these are these are good cards. So we're just gonna take these. Um, these other ones just don't don't really go with us. So like pretty easy pick. We're basically just gonna be making a, a Demacia deck. Um, man, there's two good options here. These are these are both good options. So Silverwing Vanguard. Um, is is a really really strong card and especially it's an elite so it works really well with battlesmith where we get the three twos um detain also really good but then radiant guardian as you all know is just amazing um and then single combat especially single combat with radiant guardian is awesome too so this is a tough pick i think i'm going to take the radiant guardian um you know we get basically total this is seven mana this is nine mana yeah, you know, so that helps our curve. I do like these single combats. I'm gonna take the Radiant Guardian, but that's that's tough. That's a... those are two good options, like two options that are like better than these. 
All right, Mage Seeker Investigator. If you cast a spell this round, remove. So if you cast a spell, so you have to play a spell first, and then you play Mage Seeker Investigator, and then you purify something. You purify an enemy follower. It's kind of tough to pull off. I think I'm gonna take. I think we're we're gonna take this one over. So like Puff Cat Peddler is awesome. Get excited is awesome. You know Peddler works really well with Teemo. Um, so I could see taking this route. This is two removal spells with Beam and Detain, and they're both both good removal spells. Uh, beam more so than Detain. Um, do I want to take the Peddler? And try to turn on Teemo. I think I, I think I want this one. Thermogenic beam detain. Plus it says, for a card sophisticate looking for a unique experience and a giant cat driven mech strosity. How can you pass that up? How can you pass that up? You'd go beam. All right, let's go beam. Um, I don't really like Redouble Valor, and I definitely don't like Plucky Poro, so the first one's not really an option. Secession is is perfectly fine, and then Four Demacia is also perfectly fine. Like, I don't mind having those cards in my deck, but they're not they're not cards that I actively look for. Um, this one has Senna. Which is a good card, and Mage Seeker Conservator, which is perfectly fine. I think like we we have a whole lot of spells. We honestly kind of need more units. So I, I think we'll just take this this one over here. Even though, yeah, it's not we're not taking the elite thing with the secession, but we'll just take the Senna. All right, so options are Vanguard Cavalry and Vanguard First Blade, so two elites, or Fleet Feather Tracker and Swiftwing Lancer, the Challengers. I think I'd rather have the Challengers than the elites. I think they're just going to be better cards. Yeah, the Challengers are good. Ooh, this is tough. The single card out of all of these that I like the most is Vanguard Bannerman. I really like Bannerman. Especially when we're going to be so Demacia heavy. However, Reinforcements is like the card I like. Reinforcements is actually the card I like the least. I do like Repost. Radiant Guardian is awesome, and Repost is awesome. We already have two Senna's. This would be a third. And then Duelist. Duelist does work really well with Senna, giving um, giving Senna um, the Challenger with it having Quick Attack also. Those two do work well together. I think I'm going to go with this left-hand column. Though Repost is such a good trick. Radiant Guardian is such a good 5-drop. Already stacking up fives though, but yeah, let's let's go with this. Ugh. Well, this first one's just not really play. Plucky Poro is not really playable. Chain Vest isn't great either. <clears throat> the second one has a really good epic with True Shot Barrage, and then a six drop that I don't really want. Yeah, I basically don't want this card at all. And then this one has a six, that six drop I don't really want at all. And then this six drop that I also don't really want at all. So that one's not really playable. So like both of these options are just a really not, not good at all. And this one has a card I don't want, but it has one really good card. So I guess we're taking the middle one. But that's not anywhere I want to be. All right, back to some, back to some units. Um, I do like Cythria and I like Lancer a ton, so that, that's a this is a good a good column here. Um, Remembrance isn't bad. 
that's not bad. Um, yeah, you, know, you can you can cast this with spell mana, and it can cost less. It's I don't know if it's better or worse than Lancer, because you know, like basically your options are either Lancer. You have three options there: Lancer, um, Radiant Guardian, or that five-five tough. So it's pretty good. And Conservator, eh? It's, it's not a bad card. I don't know if Sithria or Conservator is better. Maybe Conservator. This is honestly kind of where I want to be: is these these spells, these tricks, single combat, prismatic barrier. Those are both very good. The problem is we actually do have a whole lot of spells already. And I kind of want some more, um, kind of want some more units. Hey, Forks, just found out yesterday all your classes are going online after spring break for an unknown amount of time because of COVID-19. Well, that's, that's pretty nice that you get to just stay home. Um, yeah. Are, what do you think? Are you, are you excited about that? Are you excited about just staying home? Hey, Ravolki. I'm not I'm not surprised though. It seems like that's that's kinda what's happening these days. Um So yeah, not not too surprised. What do I want to take? I wanna take let's see, I got five five drops already. I'm going to take these two, Single Combat, Prismatic Barrier. They're two good tricks. I feel like it's going to be kind of easy for us to get more creatures and like, like especially like the trades, like maybe we can start trading away like this Valor and I guess this, this thing's technically a creature, like start trading away some spells for creatures. All right, well, this is an easy pick. This first column, War Chefs is amazing. Lancer's amazing. That's an easy pick. I want those two. Um, Protégé is also amazing, but Plucky Poro, not so much. So, easy pick here. All schools in Poland are closed now. Wow. Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, yeah, the, the teachers know that you can't really do your labs while you're, while you're staying at home. And so, like, they'll, they'll help out. Or, like, you know, like, they'll... They'll grade you accordingly. Yeah. All right, well, we have some good trades here. The first and the last trades are awesome. I I mean, Teemo is great, but our deck is is very much a Fiora deck. Um, so that that's an that's a really great trade for us, to be honest, because this is a Fiora deck, for sure. But also this last trade. Innovation is not very good. Bright Steel Protector is awesome. Like that's a great trade. Um, but I think I think we should take the Fiora to be honest. Yeah, like I, I think we should take the Fiora. This is just so much more of a Fiora deck than a Teemo deck. So we're not 100% Demacia, but we're we're pretty close. Hey, Arkneic. Hello. All right, good hand. We'll replace the Lancer for now. a pretty good hand. Alright, so they're going to make their creatures in hand. I'm what nightmares fear. They're going to make them more powerful. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there. That's probably pretty likely that there's no ceremony.
for graduation, no graduation ceremony. Everyone here? Go. Oh no! Wow, they got this, the free Teemo. That's pretty awesome. You'll go no farther. We got so much challenger. All right, so we can have this, kill that, this, kill that, this, kill that, and then attack here. All right, so they're gonna flip Teemo. Yeah, you graduate this this uh, spring also, JCC. JC. <sighs> yeah, a good chance it gets canceled, but um, the warm the warm weather should help it out. You know, like I was hearing the doctor talk about that earlier, actually earlier today, and you know, warm, you know, it's it's very flu like. You know, and just like how like how we have flu season and everything, warm weather should um, Drink up. should help it out. What would you wish to learn? Smell that? A bite to cook it. We may be able to get a Fiora kill. Possibly. Hmm. Let's let that happen. So I have nine total mana. The shrouded path. I walk your path alone. By my honor, you must die. So they're tapped out, huh? We're gonna have. I mean, we have we have a lot of cards. Let's have, let's have this thing fight the Zed. Just take Zed out. This will be quick. To your I'll write my own story. The star.
All right, frostbite all enemies. No damage dealt by you. That's a lot of shadow assassins. That'd be nice to have one more mana to be able to single combat. My gun. All right, they gotta block that thing. Giving that thing life steal and barrier. So I can't. Uh, I just. I can't kill them, can I? I can't quite kill them. Hmm. Sorry, JC. Yeah, JC. Yeah, basically, change the name to not have any specific game in my name so I can switch games and everything, but uh, I start playing um, start playing this Legends of Runeteric because uh, I really believe in this game. I think this game is amazing. But it's it's so much fun to play. It honestly is. Like I'm just I'm just having a whole lot of fun playing it. I think it's gonna be a really big game. Like I I think it's like the future of card games. I think it's gonna overtake Magic and Hearthstone. Honestly, it's gonna take a little bit because you know like it's it's a new game compared to the other two that have a lot more enfranchised players. What a top deck by me. This will be quick. Courage masks the heart from fear. Dang. So I, so I, I'm going to trade with this thing. It's just, do I trade away my five, five or my four, two? Um, guess the five, five. Man, we fought through a whole lot. 
And they still have four cards because they've, you know, the back alley bar keeps and the shadow assassins. I was like pretty confident we were winning this a long time ago, but not really anymore. So basically, all that card did was. All that card did was kill my, um, my, my Senna. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. Just the way I like it. New recruit reporting in. No greater gift than knowledge. Come on. Looks like I'm probably dead. All they need is any creature in hand, which I'm assuming they have. So I think I'm dead. No, they did not have a creature. Wow. What is that block? They didn't block with their with their two two. Um, I don't know ring theory. Um, not really planning to right now. There's always a way out. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. They had to have had one of those cards last turn. Couldn't they have just killed me? I definitely can now. Dang, I thought we were winning that game, but they they just kept on having good stuff. Their deck was really good. Alright, well these are some good trades. Um Yeah, these are some good trades. I think our best trade is honestly the middle one. This unlicensed innovation is one of my worst cards. And so turning that into a fleet feather tracker would be really nice. Um, but honestly, all, all three of these trades would be good. Maybe, like this first one, like Radiant Guardian is awesome, but so is... Back Alley Barkeep's not bad. I want to get rid of this six mana spell that I won't use. I like that I don't want to use. And get that tracker. Okay, well, we have our back against the wall already. This could be an 0-2. I feel like our deck's pretty good. Like, I'll be surprised if we lose this and go 0-2, but, um, you know, I wasn't really expecting to lose that one, and we did. I feel like we have a good, a good expedition deck. Yeah, ring ring theory. I, I recommend trying out Legends of Runeterra if you haven't. I know, yeah, I know this is a newer game that people haven't. You're know, not everybody's checked out yet. But I wrote about why I think it's a better game than Magic in that Google document, and a couple weeks ago. And I really recommend it. Let's get a new hand. That in class. Uh, excuse me. 
with me? I long for a worthy All right, Fiora. <laughs> a light bulb and an iguana. Like the main question is if I want to use Bannerman now or not. I'm going to say not. I'll just try to eat this. Alright. A lifetime of innovation. Make your poison. Not a bad random card to get. Like that's actually going to work pretty well with with uh, Fiora. Did that sound right? Let's see. How do I want to do this? Maybe better to do it. So this, so they get a random epic in hand. That's gonna be pretty good. Not gonna really stop them from getting that epic. It may be better to just go this route, actually. I get two random cards. I don't know. I mean, I am opening myself up to them having a removal spell and blowing blowing me out here, I guess, but... There we go. Got two random cards. So basically we had... The, the barkeep got us a detain, and so I used the detain... To then get a repost and an unlicensed innovation. So basically, what we you know we spent five mana, but we had our barkeep get us a repost and an unlicensed innovation. So I'm at six mana right now. Yeah, check this game out, Ring Theory. This game's amazing. And you know maybe. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. We'll uh, start enjoying this the same. All right, Scar Mother Ver Verena. We can have like a large thermogenic beam to kill that. We can use Repost with Swiftwing Lancer. Go for the repost line. So we have one more card in hand than they do, and we have a better battlefield. So that's a good sign. They have more mana.
Blair. I'm going to try using this thermogenic beam. So I don't have to worry about more frostbite. You know, me using a repost, them using a frostbite to counter it. All that kind of stuff. This also probably isn't a very good attack considering I have the true shot barrage that could have dealt a three damage to that spider. Oh yeah, we have Garen. Garen's good. We fight for those who cannot. I stand ready. Hope this works. All right, it works. That's one strike for Garen. And two strikes for mankind. All right, leveled up. Garen means we get to Start rallying a bunch. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. So now we have the attack token on their turn as well. This is us taking four damage right now. So soon. Sweet. And we're one on one. Ooh, got that quest bonus. We're still not near. Getting our next card, which is going to be an epic. All right, so we get a champion. Another champion after getting that win. Um, Fiora Protege Barrier. That All that works really well with our deck. A bunch, a bunch more threes, but those work perfectly with our deck. We get another Garen and then a Bannerman, which Bannerman is super strong, and a Vanguard. Pretty good. That's that's good. And then Lucian gets us Fleet Feather Tracker and Single Combat, which that's not bad either. I mean, Lucia, Lucian with the Senna's 
is really good. I mean, honestly, all these are good choices. We can't really go wrong here. Ban I'm guessing Bannermans are the best card. You know, non-champion wise. I don't know. Protege with barrier is awesome. We are a pretty decent. Let's see. We have two barriers, one repost. We have the war chefs. We're a pretty decent Fiora deck. These are all elites, which work really well with our Battlesmith. We're kind of low on the four mana slot anyway, with just the Barkeep, Repost, and Bannerman. Oh, I don't even have a Silverwing Vanguard. Oh, we got that Silverwing Vanguard from what? From the Lancer that we had the last game. So we're a little low on units anyway, so we could probably use the triple unit. I kind of want to go with this Demacian Steel one here. I don't know. These are all awesome. What do you do when every pick is really good? Vote says this one over here, but I think I think this is my least favorite pile. How much do I want to be a Fiora deck? Is, do people have less removal in these things and makes Fiora better in Expeditions? Hmm. I'm going to take Garen. I'm going to take Garen, Bannerman, Silverwing, Vanguard. Uh, I don't even know if that's right. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because trying to get the seven win expedition this time, and then our next one we can try to make a, like a Teemo deck. It's our worst card. Get rid of those. Thresh Karma. We're going to have to be faster. Let's just try a new hand. Ugh, that was not a very good new hand. There we go. They'll never see me coming. <laughs> Closing in on the mark. I'm going to be kind of surprised if we win this game, honestly. I wish I had Fiora instead of this Garen right about now. Or, you know, even that Lucian. That Lucian would have been good. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. There's Fiora. Gotta get out of here. For justice. For the <clears throat> These warden preys are not things that we want to be taking. What creature do they have that died this game? Oh, the two one blade scout. With justice and honor. It's possible I set up a judgment kill with this Fiora if they like attack with all this stuff this this next turn. Oh, I'm meant to attack with this and kill something. Yeah. That 
fun. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard. I'm Cythria. I know the single combat was, was, you know, basically free, but. Yeah, I should have attacked. Obviously, I should attack with the Fiora also. All right, that was a bad turn by me. Let's get get our head in the game. You cannot stall judgment. Now learn to fear me. Hold fast. All right, so two options. Well, like, we're going to be casting Detain, but how we want to Detain is the question. We're going to have our little Scythria over here that we never need to attack or block with. Hold that thing. And we'll just never, we never need to attack or block with the Scythria. You have to get me out of here. All right, I think we just go for the win, right? Let's just go for the win. Death by a go for the win. So basically, Fiora just killed four four creatures, and Fiora says if it you know, kills four units, if Fiora kills four units, you win the game. Set it up perfectly. Oh, why can't we get better trades? We have all these, like, crappy cards up here that I want to trade away for better stuff. These are not really the trades. Uh, Barkeep's better than Area Knots. That's not a good trade. Get Excited is... Uh, I don't know if that's better than Redeemer. Maybe Redeemer is better. Secession and Judgment. I don't, I don't think I want a second Judgment. Yeah, Judgment's not bad. That's true. It's, secession isn't really that great either. I don't, I don't think we need another Judgment. Maybe if I would have taken the second Fiora. Yeah, if I would have taken the second Fiora and we would have had that and we would have had a whole, you know gotten all those threes, then definitely taking the second Judgment. Redeemer, you know, is an Elite. It is a Demacia card. It draws a card where Get Excited makes us discard a card. So it's one is card advantage, one card's disadvantage. But besides that, the Get Excited's a lot better. I'm going to keep Get Excited. So really the, the question is, do I want to trade Secession for Judgment? We did see Judgment win that game, but Judgment can sit back and do nothing. Let's be honest. That's, Secession can win games, though. 
or sorry, judgment can win games though. Secession just isn't isn't really gonna do that much for us. It's it's just a very generic vanilla creature. We should probably just take the epic. They can win games. All right, too many fives. We're gonna replace two of them. Keep keep one. All these blade scouts. Time to get my hands dirty. Hey, toasted. Howdy. This is the card I want to trade away. I walk my path alone, making the dead deader. I need no weapon. Pick your poison. Took the bait. That Karina Veraza is probably not going to be doing a whole lot for me. They got a bunch of Yeti stuff. They'll never see me coming. My heart and sword for Demacia. So they have an enraged Yeti somewhere in the top three cards of their deck. So they didn't play it this turn. They probably have a bunch of Yetis. Dang, they do have a bunch of Yetis. I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe this Redoubled Valor is going to be good for us. We can put this on the Garen. Make Garen a 10 10. This will help us fight Yetis. We know they have a. Oh no. I can't kill that Karma right now. I don't have the mana. Don't have the mana for judgment. Do you think they're just gonna not attack? They're just gonna do no attacks? Probably not. Yeah, they are just going to do no attacks. We must not relent. To the next life. I agree, Garen. We must not relent. Hey, Welsh Dragon. Let's see. Charge! The 
So I'm not really expecting. Uh, Fear the dark. I'm not really expecting this Karina Veraza to be that good for me, right? Take shelter from the cold. Or will it be good? The wicked must fall. All right, I changed my mind. Because, you know, like, a, yeah, I changed my mind. I should have kept, like, the Senna to discard to the get excited. Looking for this. I was planning, of course, on stealing the Anivia. And killing it, and then um, it turns into Egnivia, and then shooting Egnivia with Get Excited. Hey, QQ, good afternoon. Good afternoon, we're on our first expedition. And doing fairly well. We do what is right. Mr. Chance to run. No one goes hungry. Over there. Or what are the chances? Okay, looks like we're doing pretty good. Let's say, what is the chances that Garrett's judgment would have worked? Turns out those chances are pretty good. I guess I blocked the trample one in incorrectly. Behold, my masterwork. Okay, we got four spells. Four damage to them and all their stuff. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Three and one. This deck has the this deck has the ability to be a seven win deck. Especially if we can keep tuning it. Ooh. Alright, well, I know which one I'm taking. So we could, you know, and a third Garen would be okay. You know, Garen's good. Scythria is amazing. But I really don't like reinforcements. And that just kinda even adds my curve even up higher and i don't think i really need that lucian is good but we've seen that standalone we're not exactly the best standalone deck because we do have a good amount of creatures back to back is an amazing trick though and i guess we could kind of be a standal you know like we have one standalone right now it's tough to pull off though um or it could go fiora which we've you know we have two judgments now for the fioras um, and then Blade Keeper and Repost are both awesome. So I'm going to go with the Fiora and the Blade Keeper and Repost. We can probably pick up another Fiora win or two with having two Fiora, two Judgment.
yeah, like this is a good hand. The card that I could mulligan would be the Vanguard, and we'll go ahead and do that for now with um, not really having a, a two drop and not really having any protection, any barriers or anything like that. Escapes my watch. Fresh tracks. So I'm trading two for one. I'm really trading one for one. This thing's going to die no matter what, so I'm just having my single combat killer three one. That's reasonable, but can we have single combat be better than that? Probably. Gotcha. Always two steps ahead. Cause I can have this tracker kill the three one anyway. Warchefs. Warchefs is good. That's exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Smell that? A fight's a cooking. A fight's a cooking. I'm expecting them to have frostbite. No one goes hungry. All right, don't want them to kill my Fiora, especially with me having this redouble Balor. Okay, well, they'll kill Fiora. So I'm down a card. They have five, I have four. And that's kind of happened because of that Archer being a two-for-one. Making the dead deader. That hurts. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Strike quick or go. Dang. Game's not looking good for me. Now it's five to three. It was five to four the last time. Now it's five to three cards. This card is so slow. Darn it. Huh. That's like the best elite. So I need, that's why I really want to trade away that card, of course. Is 
They drew something with five plus power. I think we figured out what they drew. Looks pretty good. I got a Freljord PNZ spell heavy deck. It's pretty cool. The sump rock got me good. What are they discarding? Discarding a Funsmith. Nothing stands in our way. Um, Possible I should be doing this on the Garen. But I kind of figured like before I can just kind of sit back with the Blade Keeper. I don't really need to attack with it, so force them to use removal on the Blade Keeper, which they're using removal on the Blade Keeper. Now I got removal for these things. Oh, I guess that thing just kills the Blade Keeper, doesn't it? Alright, should have done it on the Garen. Yep. Should have done it on the Garen. Wow. Jean will be mine. The wow. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. I wonder if this judgment's gonna be good. <laughs> hey, Jam. Dot. Yeah, probably about a month ago. Probably about a month ago. We get a Nivea back, of course, but we get to kill three things, and then we also get to level up the Garen, so now... We must not um... So now I have Rally. I'm so good, I surprised myself! Don't blame you This is our time! It's not bragging if you could back it up. Yeah, like this game came out 
Game Legends of Runeterra. Which is very good. And I've started playing this instead. I like it more. This game's pretty over, though. Why would they not have played that first? See the Nebastian border from here. The wicked must fall. Uh, I'm I'm now in Denton, Texas. Oh, I guess they are down to four. Like my my biggest hope is they are down to four cards. Okay, First. nope, that's lethal. Yeah, yeah, no, right. Didn't think they'd make a game better than Magic, but yeah, no, this is this is it. And yeah, in that article that say Moi just linked, uh, that that uh, article I wrote a couple of weeks ago, I wrote why I like it more. Let's see. So I can. All right. So what's our trade gonna be? Probably none of these, honestly. I mean, maybe the middle one. But the conservator has been good for us. You know, getting that six plus cost spell is pretty nice. Um, the detain's been good. I have three single combats already and just one detain. Yeah, none of these trades. Man, I just want to get rid of redoubled valor and get something better. You know, they're not letting me get rid of that card. Yeah, I understand. Have you tried this game out, uh, Jam Dot? Have you have you heard of this game, Legends of Runeterra? Or tried it out before? Perfect. Those are good cards. Now I could use War Chefs and then, then we'll have everything. War Chefs. Darn. Lucian and Hecarim? I can pretty safely block with those because we have more challenger cards coming up. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I uh, never heard of it. Yeah, it's it's been an open beta, so like available for the public for about um, for about six Take weeks this. now. Um, but you know, it uses the the League of Legends world, uh, but it is awesome. Yeah, for now. Yeah, I definitely have less viewers for now. But that's all right. I, I'm enjoying playing the game a lot more. I've been playing Magic, you know, for like 10 years. I was kind of tired of it. And, have, and this game is much more challenging. And I, I, I'm a big believer in its future. I don't know if I want to waste a barrier just to kill this thing. I'm going to 
gonna pass. I'm not gonna go to combat. I'm what nightmares fear. Show them our strength. What is strength without style? Just because we can do something doesn't mean we need to. Smell that? A bite to cook it. They could have like judgment. No one goes hungry. <laughs> All right. Imagine support was, you know, like how I've talked about, like, imagine support wasn't just attacks if its support was blocks. And so when you challenge her, like, you could, you could, like, turn this into, like, a downside. You would support it and, like, put, challenge something else next to it. Another victory for House Lohan. All right, we're four and two. Bone stack didn't seem to do too much. That's kind of an easy win. Ooh. The first trade's pretty bad. I don't want to unlicense innovation. So then it's these two. We can trade away removal spells, thermogenic beam, or true shot barrage for some Demacia cards. I don't really feel like either of those are good trades, honestly. Yeah, we really don't need to do either of those trades. I wish they would give, they were giving us trades that were helping. That was a good thing about our, our Frozen deck yesterday, the Ash deck that we got seven wins with. It was like every single trade was like a, a really good trade and we were just, um, our deck was just getting better and better and better. We haven't gotten good trades here. Garen Lux. You're in Lux. Hey, After Wizard. Dangerous out there. Take this. Honestly, I probably should have just thermogenic beamed this. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have just thermogenic beamed that. <clears throat> Flavor, it's spice. So they get Sturdy blade. no bonuses. But they have another battlesmith. They're going to use theirs to kill my two things. Oh, that's surprising. That is surprising. I thought they were going to kill the Warchefs. Alright, later, Jam Dot. Who does not know the name Laurent? We 
fight for those who cannot. Harry, repost, you are toast. <laughs> both of these You take you. You take you. We do what is right. This is a pretty interesting back and forth game, honestly, with the the challengers and and everything. We've had a lot of a lot of decisions to be making. Helping their elite. Man, I just have so many good cards. No, for Demacia. No, for Demacia. I have nothing to discard to these get excited. Like nothing. Ten mana. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. That's for this expedition. Yeah, we're four and two right now. Yep. Now the record there too, which that pop up thing may be covering up this one. Might be covering up mine, but yeah, we're four and two. And honor. With justice and honor. I never hold back. All right, wait. Let them so. You kill that. Then you kill this. Then you attack. And you attack. And you can attack too. Try me, I dare you. Fear is the first of many foes. So I have one barrier because I haven't used that barrier yet. Ugh. All right. That's a good one. Man, we're not getting anything to discard to this get excited. The wicked must fall. Stay safe out there. I was 
one's going to tell you that. Glory of Demacia! To the sky! Dang. Oh, their deck's full Demacia. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like... Man, their deck's good, but yeah, that's, that's why they have a full Demacia deck. This has been a, a really interesting back and forth game, for sure. Obviously, we're not blocking Lux. It has that barrier. This is me taking 15 and then gaining 7. Fiora's killed one enemy. If I barrier Fiora, Fiora turns into a 5-3. That can then kill Lux. Strike without worry. That didn't seem like the best use of that Purify. So we'll be able to take out Garen and Lux and get my Garen back. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, that thing has toughness. Ugh. Man, I wish I could. I wish I could kill them. I'm one creature away. Like, if I pass and they play a, a small creature, then they're dead. But the problem is, if I pass, hmm. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. This is tough. For the honor of God. Oh. What a draw. What a draw. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I get to act now, right? Okay. So we'll do... Pick you. Death by a Maybe I should have just attacked with these and, you know, I would have been able to kill their 5-5 five, five lifelinker also. I should have just, just done that as planned on using that thing to judgment. That's good. Banish the unworthy! I should have still blocked it. I don't know why I didn't block it. Come on. Yeah, obviously I should have still blocked it. I didn't block it, now I'm dead. Man, those are a couple of good top decks they had. Back to back, awesome spell. You know, back to back trick, but I still, yeah, obviously I still had the tools to do just fine.
<sighs> so, I mean, that was still my bad. This game's so hard. It's so challenging. It's it really is. You make you make mistakes, you lose. It's so skill intensive. All right, I'm not trading away the Battlesmith or the Detain. Cytheria is an okay card, but you know it is just a one drop. It's not a card we want to draw later on in the game. Barrier. Um, is a much more powerful card. All right, back against the wall now. Yeah, Teasel, yeah, you were correct. I should have gone with the Judgment with the 6-2. I don't need to win the game with Fiora. I should have just attacked with everything Judgment the 6-2. Yeah, I was too blind to Judgment Fiora. And to honed in on that. Too, too tunnel visioned. That's a better term. I have my orders. Eat up, friend. Worst card in my deck. I learn my scars. I love seeing that card with Fiora. Love seeing that O3. Just a free kill. Born from battle. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. So I could go War Chefs, pump this Fiora up to a 4-4. They have the 2-4 block the War Chefs, and then I have my single combat at Fiora kill their 2-4, and then I level up Fiora this turn. The problem is that gets really blown out by a Frostbite spell. Um, then they you know, get to have the War Chefs block here, pump that thing up. I'm just going to go for the safe route of just trying to kill their 0-3. Well, that's pretty good. Your move. All right, so that is me trading my repost for their transfusion and their O3. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. Show them our strength. What is strength without style? 
fun, yes? I know I could have single combat available this turn, but I like getting Garen in play. Friend. Help is on the way. So they still have six mana. I don't want to just single combat right now. Let's see what they do. That was a good play. That was an even better play. I guess I need to focus on killing Brawn. So if is gonna die anyway, let's let's have the Garen strike so Garen can strike twice and level up. We need to get Braun out of here, I think. We must not relax. All right, they're down to two cards in hand. I'm I'm down to two cards in hand. I'm going to have a 12-12 Garen. So that's pretty big. Matthew! Break their ranks! Hey, Matthew. Matthew says, beginning season three of my ice cream journey. I haven't re read the title yet, but I hope it's Return of the Prophets. <laughs> I hope so, too. Yeah, it's, get, it's starting to get warm again outside. It's a good change, right? The time change? It's a good change, right? I wasn't strong enough! It was right on my tail! How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. So we know they have a five power creature, so it could be Vladimir. I'm gonna kill this thing. Okay, good. It's a good change. Good. That's a good draw. With them being at one life. They will no match. Alright, that 12 12 Garen just took over. So I guess I shouldn't say that that six drop is really bad and I need to get out of the deck because it definitely helped me win that game. Um Man, I would love to have back to back, but I'm not giving up war chefs. And that's that first trade's not that good either. 
Barkeep for Radiant Guardian. I don't know. Barkeep's been good. We already got two other Radiant Guardians. Man, our trades have not been good. We just keep skipping all of our trades. They're not helping us out. GG's. Um... Yeah, Matthew, uh, long time no see. How's everything going? You got, let's see. Heimerdinger, Garen. Well, let's just try to get something else. Okay, we'll take this. So we're going to get the, the ice cream business back up and running. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're welcome, Eric. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. I'll see you later. My shield is yours. Head to the base. Mm. Yeah, we can try these. Yeah, that broken finger. Ooh, I didn't know about the infection. Got your teeth pulled recently? Man. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Making the dead deader. Show them our metal! Man, rough patch. Okay, so we got four mana. I guess we're gonna go Senna Conservator. Missed a chance to run. Um, I'll play Senna first. Yeah, this this game is really really good, Matthew. Um, I know, you know, it takes like some time to get into it, but I, I hope you do, you know, download it, start start playing it. I think you'll really enjoy it. Sentinels of light. Um, but you know, it's it's all good. That you, you know, I haven't gotten into it yet. It's a good time, you know, any time is now is a good time to get into it, though, with... My gun does the talking. They're just passing. I feel like they're going to be... I feel like they're going to have a trick to kill a Senna, but, oh, well, hopefully it's still just a one-for-one. One. You will not prevail. You know, they have, like, a barrier or whatever. Oh, that's even better. I don't do any damage, but I took their trick and their creature. Okay. Ah, the sweet smell of science. So yeah, you played the tutor tutorial, so yeah, you know, it's awesome. All right, let's have you fight Heimerdinger. Got to get Heimerdinger out of here. That card is way too powerful. Never mind. We're just dead now. Can't kill Heimerdinger right away, you die. I got to play Heimerdinger with protection on turn five. That's unbeatable and constructed. Uh, we just lost our last round before this, right? Or did we win? No, maybe we won.
I think we won our last match, so I think we can afford to lose this one. Take a look at this. How can I help? Our chances of winning this are very slim. Eh, not really slim. I mean, they're it's like. Probably 40%. It has... Okay, how are we making these blocks? Can I take 11? The answer is probably no. Hands up for forging, not fighting. Doesn't really matter which one I block there. Hey, Captain, yeah. This game came out about a month ago or so, and really like it and I've been playing it and been really impressed with it and by my honor you must die the vanguard stands at one ouch so playing the fiora backfired with them having that card so now I can't attack with the war chefs Go ahead, scare me. I could have attacked the warships before that. Wait, what is this? Dawn and Dusk? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was the Give All Battling Allies Ephemeral card. Unclear if that's better for me than doing it on the, putting that on the Senna's. Yeah. You ever like how I explain things in Magic of that? I'm doing that same thing over here now. You know, explaining things like that here in Legends of Runeterra. I think this is just a, a much better game. I, I wrote a... Wrote a little while ago... A couple weeks ago, why I think this is a better game than Magic, and I hope, hope you give this game a shot if you're you know currently playing Arena. It's free to play, and uh, you can really build your collection for free. You don't you really don't have to invest like you do with Arena to get like rares and mythics in Arena. But it's very challenging, very skill intensive. For That's a great draw. Alright, so this attack, we're gonna make this thing a 6 6. So both of these are 6 power, they're at 6. They have to block both of these, presumably, unless they have like a detain. 
Darn it. They have a detain. That was worst case scenario. That was literally the worst card that we could possibly see in the entire game. <sighs> that was the absolute worst. That was it. Like ev everything else we had covered with the barrier. Every other card. I shouldn't use that single combat when I did. I think that's the lesson there. I could have just saved the single combat. Didn't have to use it. Yeah, I yeah, I think you're right. Then slightly better was just saying that too. I think I did not need to play that single combat when I did. magic. Dang, and now they have lethal. GG's. You can't outrun justice. <laughs> Alright, are we eliminated or not? Not eliminated yet. Do we get a good trade? Oh, come on. We are not getting good trades. I could see doing the middle one. The Get Excited have not looked they like Get Excited actually hasn't been that good because we've we've wanted to play all of our spells. We haven't had like extra spells to discard at all. Um, so maybe we just take the repost instead. Yeah, Lancer is very strong. I currently have I currently have two Lancers already and two Radiant Guardians and two Garens. Uh, as far as like the five mana slot, you know, like so I already have a lot of those where this true shot barrage can can really open up a game. I think I may do this middle one. This get excited has frequently been a dead card in hand. We're basically going win one, lose one, win one, lose one. But we're not eliminated yet. You have to lose two in a row. We haven't lost two in a row. Now we're at single elimination, though. Because even if we win this one, we'll go to six wins, and then we'll go to the final boss. And then if we lose that, then you only get one chance at the final boss. So we're in single elimination, so we got to win our next two to get to the seven wins. Okay. Against Fiora Shen. I'll take this. I mean, basically, my plan right now is Senna standalone. Is that even that great? Maybe not. It's not like Fiora standalone. Ugh, but it was at least a three drop. Oh, come on. Okay, I should have kept the Senna. That was greedy. Fiora... Warships. Well that a fight to cook it. A fight to cooking. Discipline and steel. Head to the base. Meet them head on. <laughs> My time is come. Standalone is the kind of card that does go down in value quite a bit. If we wait. I got just the thing for you. Strike 
Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. I will put you down. Oh god. They're absolutely gonna bury her. an easy one to call. We'll just trade our barrier for their repost. I'm not, not so sure about this. this will be I just basically two for zeroed myself. Like they get they got a, a card back. And I got nothing. Why have we never sparred, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. So Fiora judgment could be good. I wish I had the mana to do repost and judgment. They're absolutely sitting on a bunch of barrier cards. Today we turn the tide Gosh, that's good. I guess I'm dead. I guess they got something that's gonna kill me. Oh, could I have? Hmm.
Alright, so they're down to six cards with one of them being a Ford Masia. Virtue guides me. So I can try the repost judgment dream. This game's so difficult. These these Demacia mirrors, this is we've played like one or two other of these during this during this time that they're so difficult trying to navigate through all these combat tricks and everything. This is so difficult. One kill for Fiora. What's going on with this game? For the honor of Your move. I'm a smith, not a soldier. I don't know which one of these is, is less valuable, the Battlesmith or the Vanguard. Yep. 
four mana left. This would be kills number two and three for Fiora if this works. This would be kills number two and three. You know, Fiora needs to kill four, four creatures for you to win. Okay, so this is going to be kill number two for Fiora. But still, we got... So I traded my Judgment and my Repost for a Fiora kill. Um, but I got three cards out of them. I got... Well, I got the Usari, the four Demacia... And their two barrier cards. So actually, I got four cards out of them. Let them Try me. Strike without worry. All right, that's the third Fjord kill. I have a combo to set up for the fourth one. Justice will be served. I should... Break their spirit and their soul. <laughs> Taste my skill! Run them through. Aha. That's pretty easy blocks. Hold fast. Uh, so they're going to have their own judgment. I basically have to hope this works. If they have single combat also with judgment, and strike. I'm in trouble. No single combat. There we go. Fiora with the fourth kill. Sergio, you were right that they had a judgment. All right, we've gotten to the final boss with four losses. This is the most losses I've ever had going to the final boss, that's for sure. All right, so we get three trades. Um, the thermogenic beam, as we saw there, like thermogenic beam, we never got to play because it would like spend all my mana and never wanted to spend all my mana. But I think that that's more of an anomaly than anything. I think I'd rather have that than static shock. Um, I also think I like my standalone. Redeemer is really nice, though. I could see trading that. I could see doing that middle trade. It's hard to pull off standalone. It is hard to pull off standalone. I think we should do this middle trade and just take the Redeemer that's going to be a two for one. And it's like an elite and everything. Okay. Now I can send that Redeemer back and get a Plaza Guardian. Meh. Send away my Detain for a Dawn Speakers. Which isn't that... Like, Dawn Speakers isn't bad, but I've really liked my Detain. I'm going to keep the Detain. 
Then we could get rid of the redoubled Valor for a Lancer. Yes, please. I'll take the Lancer. All right, and then our last trade. Man, I absolutely love Bannerman. I think Bannerman is amazing, but War Chefs is like my... I only have two two drops, one Battlesmith, one War Chefs. I, I really can't get rid of War Chefs. Um, I'm not doing that first trade either. So I could get rid of the Conservator for a standalone. Which I could see doing that, but I've actually really liked this Conservator. So we're going to skip that. All right, final battle. Let's go, final boss time. Man, this has been a difficult expedition. Just so much thinking. Their deck's, is gonna, their deck's gonna be super, super powerful. Anivia, Trindomir, Lux. Wow, their deck's gonna be really powerful. Um. I need like a two or a three drop. No, not another four. There we go. Blade Keeper and Bannerman are both really strong. Thanks, Anaconda. We're gonna start a little slow. I know, like, repost. I think it's a 5-5. Five five. Alright, they're gonna get their yetis. What? I missed? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I only have, like, well, like, three <laughs> built over in Zon cards. One's in my hand. Uh, the barkeep. A Demacia soldier is worth ten foes. It's kind of unlucky. Safeguard our citizens. <laughs> our opponent's name proven proven no IQ. Your name. Glory unrelenting. Defend our banner. Do not waver. Five down to four. My duty's done. Uh, 
All right, well, I think I'd try for the Fiora Judgment Kill on their turn. I think, or, you know, I could just True Shot Barrage and basically clear up their battlefield. That's the safe play. Do three, two, one, and then challenger this. Yeah, I decided to do the safe play. We're in this together. bad the whole final spark thing this is bad it's very bad They can still cast for Demacia. Why have we never sparked, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. No, I haven't gotten any tape for this red light, no. That just kills me. I guess yeah, I guess I had I had to blade keeper the Lancer, didn't I? Or the I had to I had to blade keeper the bannerman just to stay alive. I had to, yeah, I had to blade keeper bannerman just to stay alive. I can't I can't stop that. I I should have seen that. No, barrier doesn't save me. The rest trample the that thing still tramples over. Ugh. Too many five fives. Too many five fives. All right, so we got six wins and we got an epic. Cythria. So we got six. We got six wins. I feel like I should have just gone for the judgment play and just try to kill them with judgment. I mean, I, I could have. It looks like it looked like they didn't have a, a frost free uh, frostbite. It looks like I should looks like I should have just gone risky um, and tried the frostbite or sorry tried the judgment kill through the frostbite. Um, yeah, should have gone for it all with Fiora. I think. I th from what you know, my opponent played after that, it looked like I probably would have been able to get it, but we never know. All right, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. We almost got that seven wins, almost got so close, uh, but we did not get there. Uh, but we have another another trial. You know, that was um, trial number one with our six wins. We got trial number two that we'll be back in here in just a minute to try. All right, uh, yeah, but thanks so much for watching some expeditions, and I'll see you for the next video.